What's up everyone, so the third and final film in the Fear Street series brings the cast back in the Cursed Town period, set in 1666. The director brings her vision back based on Oral Stein's stories, the Fear Street novels, with a modern use of dialogue throughout, it makes this period piece more spoofy and less genuine. The story about the two lesbians trying to live in this brutal time period against the odds of this supernatural warlock entity, also with the ignorance of the townspeople. I liked how the death of the witch Sarah tied into the first two films, and also the whole monologue about I'll love you forever, basically making love endless and immortal basically, which is an a nice thought is often very rare before cell phones made it easier to cheat and I wasn't expecting the twist with the true witch um the cop behind the possessions this trilogy as a whole was decent for teenagers but I don't see a lot of adults enjoying it I didn't really as much as I hoped I would the idea of R.L. Stein's stories being rated R my expectations weren't met. With just some gore and a lot of letdowns with both middle half of the sequels being very slow and it being a half-assed slasher it doesn't help coming from its inspirations such as The Goonies, Stranger Things, Friday the 13th. So if you're gonna try to pay homage to those you better make sure you can at least measure up, you know. This trilogy really does remind us of why we loved them back in the day and how and today's time, we still don't get that quality. Um, and this is another example. That leaves more to be desired. With the 90s cliche tropes that lead to even less thrills, because we already know what to expect, they don't really add anything new. Having a much more tongue-in-cheek approach, it makes those even more serious elements out of place and a little less impactful than they should be. Doesn't mix very well. I hope you enjoy it. Um, the whole trilogy is on Netflix, so... Have a good time. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.